So you're thinking about moving to Fairfax County, Virginia, but maybe you have a family right now or you're planning to build a family in the near future and you wanna figure out what suburbs you should be looking into. Well, in this video, we're looking at some of the most family-friendly suburbs you can find in all of Fairfax County. Obviously, there's plenty of other suburbs in the area that we're not gonna mention in this video that are gonna fit that bill. You really can't go wrong wherever you go inside of Fairfax. But today we're covering things like uh, education, cost of living, things to do, and plenty more in these top five suburbs we're gonna be taking a look at. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to make the best decision for not only yourself, but of course your family, and let's jump right into it. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to living in Northern Virginia and the surrounding areas just like Fairfax, consider subscribing and tapping that bell. My name is Tim, I am a local realtor here, and the team and I, we get calls, texts, and emails from people like you looking to make their move in, out, or around Nova, and we love it. So whether you're moving in a day, a year, or any time in between, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. All the info is gonna be down below in the description. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move here to Nova. But today, we're covering the top five most family-friendly neighborhoods and suburbs you can find in all of Fairfax County. And at number five, we're gonna look at Reston, Virginia. Reston, Virginia is definitely a unique and diverse community inside of Fairfax and uh, located at the most northwestern part of Fairfax County. You're gonna be right next to places like Loudoun County and the Dulles International Airport with a population of around 62,000 people. This is gonna be one of the most popular areas to live amongst everybody pretty much, uh, whether it's young professionals, young couples, singles, and of course, families. Uh, Reston is a thriving and a booming town that's going to offer a really high quality of life. One of the area's main attractions are going to be its beautiful parks and outdoor spaces. Uh, Reston actually boasts over 1,300 acres of parks and green spaces, places like uh, Lake Fairfax Park and the WNOD Trail, which actually begins in Arlington, cuts through Reston, and goes all the way out to Purcellville inside of Loudoun County. So it's a huge trail. It's one of the biggest you can find on the East Coast. Uh, so it's going to give you a really decent area to go uh, walk, bike, run, take your dog for a walk, whatever the case may be. And it's something that a lot of people do take advantage of. I've actually seen people go from Vienna all the way down to the rest and area. It takes several hours. So if you're somebody that wants to do that, you're practicing for a big marathon or something like that, you've got a perfect trail to do so. Reston is also known for its vibrant and diverse commercial district uh, known as the Reston Town Center. This is gonna have over 50 restaurants, ton of different shops and businesses as well that are gonna cater to the community's needs. This will probably be your main shopping hub when living in Reston. A lot of people that even live around Reston are gonna be taking advantage of uh, the, the Reston Town Center. It's got places like Wegmans, Walmart, Target, uh, a movie theater, anything and everything you're ever gonna need is going to be in that area. You're also close to the Dulles Town Center, which will be near Sterling and Loudoun County, which if you want a different scenery, you want some different things to do, you also have that just 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes away from you. But now the median home sale price in Reston is around $456,000, the shooting of this video, of course, making it one of the more affordable options inside of Fairfax. A lot of this has to do with the fact that a large chunk of the real estate is gonna be townhomes and condos. Of course, there's a lot of uh, single family homes as well, but the fact that there's so many townhomes and condos is bringing down that median home sale price. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for a single family home, it's not gonna be around that $500,000 mark. It'll probably be closer to the 700 to $800,000, depending on the size of the home, of course. However, the area's really strong economy and excellent schools make it a super popular place for people to call home. Reston is served by the Fairfax County Public School System, which is one of the largest and most highly regarded school systems in the country. Now, all the suburbs we're talking about in this video will be served by FCPS, so I figured I'd just mention that real quick. However, if we zoom into Reston specifically, Niche.com gives us an A- rating for our school systems here, and this is really, really good, especially if you're uh, a parent that highly values uh, public education. You know, the community also hosts some events throughout the year, including uh, annual uh, Reston Farmers Markets and the Reston Multicultural Festival, but you're really so close to everything that's inside and around Nova that you won't always need to rely on Reston for your entertainment activities or your nightlife activities. You can always jump in your car or go on the Metro and just go out to Loudoun, Maryland, DC, Arlington, Falls Church, whatever the case may be. You know, whether you're looking for a diverse and tight knit community, uh, beautiful outdoor spaces, or just a great place to call home that Reston is definitely a place you're gonna wanna look into. 
But at number four on this list, we have McLean. McLean is definitely a charming community uh, located just a few miles outside of Washington, D.C. And if you value that short commute and just that easy access overall to the D.C. metro area, then McLean is probably going to be a better option for you than Reston would be, just because Reston is all the way on the other side of Fairfax County, whereas McLean is closer to the D.C. metro area. McLean's got a population of around 49,000 people, more or less, so it's definitely a popular area as well. Uh, McLean is a thriving and one of the most affluent areas in suburbs in all of Northern Virginia uh, and offers a really high quality of life. One of the area's main attractions are its beautiful parks and green spaces as well. You have places like the McLean Central Park, for example, which offers playgrounds, picnic areas, and walking trails. So if you're an outdoor fanatic, Reston or McLean are gonna uh, you know, take care of you. Uh, you can't go wrong in any of these places, especially because you're so close to the Potomac River that all the parks and trails in that section of McLean will also be a great spot to go and take a walk, do some biking, do some hiking, do some rock climbing even in some parts of, uh, of the trails over there. So th there's definitely a lot of outdoor spaces inside of McLean. Otherwise, if you want to go shopping, you also have one of the most vibrant commercial districts in all of Northern Virginia, uh, the Tyson's Corner Mall, which is one of the largest malls on the East Coast right now, which will provide you with a wide range of restaurants, shops, businesses, entertainment, just everything and anything you're ever going to need. Really, Tyson's Corner is going to have it, and it's right in your backyard. Uh, this area is definitely where you're going to end up going for all your shopping, whether it's basic, high-end, or entertainment. Uh, the kids are going to want to come here. You and your friends are going to come here for a cup of coffee. You are going to want to come here for a date. There's high-end restaurants. Uh, there's Tyson's 1 and Tyson's 2. Tyson's 2 typically has the more high-end uh, luxurious brands like Dior and Versace and Gucci and all that good stuff. Whereas Tyson's One is gonna have your movie theater, your food court, your more affordable options, so to speak. You got Macy's and Abercrombie and & Fitch and stuff like that. So you definitely have a lot of options in that part of McLean as well. Now the median home sale price in McLean is definitely gonna be a lot higher than what you saw in Reston. It's currently around the $1.5 million mark. Uh, with the median household income being around $240,000. So the median household income kind of justifies the high cost of living. And it does that does make it one of the most expensive areas in all of Virginia. However, the area's strong economy and high standard of living make it one of the most attractive places to live in all of Northern Virginia. And that price tag can definitely be uh, discouraging for a lot of people and it's deterred a lot of potential residents away from McLean. But in my neighborhood tour video, I did cover a couple of different options that you can look into that are more affordable, that are gonna allow you to enjoy McLean and test drive it before you invest so much into it. And if you wanted to take a look at that video, I'll leave a link to that up here. You can check it out after this one. However, the McLean school system is also phenomenal and it's highly considered to be the cream of the crop in Northern Virginia with schools like Langley High School ranking highly, not only at the state level, but at the national level as well. Nice.com also gives us an A plus rating. And although I didn't get many of those in high school, I do think that is the best rating you can get right now. The community also hosts a variety of different events throughout the year, including farmer's market, markets and you know summer concert series and even a 4th of July parade but for your major nightlife and more eventful activities you'll probably have to step out of McLean to take advantage of that but all in all realistically whether you're looking for uh, excellent schools a strong sense of community and just a beautiful place to call home. McLean is gonna have something for everyone. And moving on to number three on this list, we have Great Falls. And Great Falls, Virginia is one of the most beautiful and vibrant communities you're gonna find in all of Fairfax and to be honest, Northern Virginia. It's one of my favorite suburbs to go and visit every single year. You are just 15 miles away from Washington, DC. So if you wanted that easy commute and that easy access, you still have that. Uh, you're actually located right in between McLean and Reston, which we just talked about. So you're not only located inside a great suburb, but you're surrounded by great suburbs, which is fantastic. There are about 14,700 people living inside of Great Falls. However, you are gonna get a really peaceful and high-end suburban lifestyle, all while still having easy access to all the amenities that a major city has to offer you. One of the area's main attractions is the Great Falls Park, and here it's gonna feature some of the best views of the Potomac River, alongside, of course, the Great Falls of the Potomac, where you have the waterfalls. The park offers things like hiking trails, picnic areas and opportunities for kayaking and even rock climbing. You've got a ton of different things you can do there, whether you like to walk, hike, bike, uh, run, 
it's a fantastic area to go and just kind of hang out with family, friends, or just go out by yourself. Great Falls is also known for having a thriving small business community with locally owned shops and restaurants that are just gonna provide a more unique and personalized experience for you, whether you're going shopping or dining. You're not gonna have a whole lot of big box stores in the area, which can be a good thing because you don't have a lot of people causing traffic, but it can be a bad thing because if you need the Costco's, the Wegmans, or the Walmarts and stuff like that, you will have to hop in your car, but thankfully you do have Reston and Tyson's that provide those kinds of things and will provide all your major uh, shopping needs and they're just five to 10 minutes away from you. But now looking at the median home sale price in Great Falls, it is one of the most affluent areas in Northern Virginia. And right now it's hovering between 1.4 and $1.5 million, making it one of the most expensive places to live in Nova, as I mentioned, alongside McLean. This, these are actually two of the suburbs that fight it out every single year to see who can become more expensive. But usually the high cost of living is offset by the excellent schools, the low crime rate, and just the high quality of life overall. Uh, Great Falls will provide you A-plus rated schools according to niche.com and greatschools.org. The community will also provide uh, some events throughout the year similar to McLean. They're going to be things like the 4th of July parade or, you know, summer concert series. Again, there isn't a whole lot to do inside of Great Falls uh, on the community level, unfortunately. Although you have a lot of green spaces and a lot of seclusion and privacy, if you want to go out to the nightlife activities, to the major sporting events, to the shopping areas, you will have to hop in your car and go out of Great Falls. So, you know, it's, it really is a give and take. But if you're looking for outdoor adventures, a strong sense of community within your neighborhoods, uh, or just a beautiful place to call home, one of the most beautiful places to call home, uh, Great Falls is one of the best areas that Northern Virginia has to offer. Now, moving on to number two on this list, we have Oakton, Virginia. And Oakton is nestled in the heart of Fairfax County. We've looked at three suburbs so far that are at the most northern part of Fairfax. Now, Oakton is right smack dab in the middle. So in terms of location, it's one of the best areas you can actually look into. Uh, it's just south of Tyson's and Vienna and just north of Fairfax City and everything that uh, the old town and you know, you're right next to George Mason as well, which is awesome. This community is gonna offer the perfect combination between a peaceful suburban living alongside the easy access of the bustling city in Washington, DC with just an 18 mile commute to the major areas. Oakton does have a population of around 36,000 people. And this area is just one of those places that offers you that small town feel that residents absolutely love. Uh, the town is known for its lush green spaces, its well-maintained parks, and just a tight knit community feel overall. This is a Fairfax County favorite amongst families and residents, hence why we have so many people that live here. But according to recent data, the median home sale price in Oakton right now is around $630,000. But that's only the case if you take into consideration all the real estate like condos, townhomes, and single family homes. If you isolate the single family homes, you have a median of around $1.1 million. This is just a reflection of the town's high standard of living and just the high demand for housing overall. However, the town's high property values are offset by the strong economy and a high median income of around $145,000. But on top of that, another big draw for families to move to Oakton are the school systems. Niche.com does give us an A rating. Uh, students in Oakton do benefit from rigorous curriculums, uh, dedicated teachers, and just a variety of extracurricular activities. Not to mention really good high school uh, sports teams. When I used to compete back in high school for soccer, Oakton was amongst one of the best high schools uh, in the region. They had a lot of D1 players. So, you know, they, they've got some good teams, not only in soccer, but all the other sports as well. So if your child wants to play competitively, whatever sport they play in, if they want to move on to higher education and go division one or whatever the case may be, Oakton is a great option to look into. But it is worth noting that Oakton is a very residential area and they're highly focused on keeping things calm and safe for the residents. So you're not going to have a whole lot to do in the area in terms of nightlife and shopping activities. Of course, you have your main shopping hub right on Chambridge Road there where you have your giant, your Starbucks, your restaurants, some basic amenities that are met. I used to live in Oakton and that was the big drawback when I used to live there. There wasn't a whole lot to do with friends other than going to the park, playing some basketball, whatever the case is, which is great. But if you wanted to go out and get a bite to eat, if you didn't want to be constrained to the options you had in Oakton, you would have to go to Tyson's or Arlington or even Vienna, which is like five minutes away from you, has a huge shopping street, which is awesome. But all in all, you are gonna have to push out of Oakton for some other options you're gonna want. But moving on to the last and final suburb on this list, we're looking at Vienna. Vienna, Virginia is one of the most charming towns in all of Northern Virginia. It's one of my favorite places to go and visit, probably my second favorite behind Great Falls, to be honest. You are 15 miles away from Washington, DC. So again, you get that short commute, 
you don't feel like you're in the middle of a city, you still get the charm and the privacy of living in a suburb away from the city, but you still have the easy access to it. And this is what people want, to be honest. Uh, it is known for its excellent schools, its beautiful parks, uh, and it just being a vibrant community overall. It's got a lot of shopping areas, a lot of history in that area as well. This was where you had the Battle of Vienna. Uh, you have a lot of different historical sites and stuff like that. So if you're a history buff, you do get a lot of that. Much of the real estate used to actually be quite old in Vienna, but now it's become a developer's paradise, which I've talked about in several videos. Much of the real estate, especially single family homes, are being torn down right now. You know, these homes that are a little bit more run down or aren't at the market value per se, developers are eating them up, they're tearing them down, and they're building these huge million dollar, two million dollar, three million dollar mansions on top of them. So, you know, if you want newer construction, if you want uh, a turnkey home inside of Vienna, you get a lot of different options right now. Uh, they do fly off the shelves, so you have to take advantage of them really fast. Uh, but if you want something more historical, something more charming, uh, then you still have options, but I definitely recommend you take advantage of it now. You do have a population of around 16,000 people in Vienna, so it is a tight-knit community. It is mostly single-family homes. That's why you don't have as much uh, a density in terms of population. It's a little bit smaller of an area as well, so it is going to offer that small-town feel, as I mentioned, with just easy access to the amenities of a big city. I will say one of the biggest advantages to living in Vienna is just its convenient location, as I mentioned. The Vienna Metro as well, if you don't wanna be driving to DC, you have the Vienna Metro right in your backyard. It's just direct access to downtown DC. You also have the major highways like Interstate 66 and the Capitol Beltway that are gonna connect you to Washington DC in minutes. But you also don't have to leave Vienna to enjoy some great food or entertainment. The town's historic downtown is gonna feature a variety of local shops, uh, restaurants, and just cultural events that not only attract the residents, but everybody inside of Fairfax County. As I mentioned, this is one of my favorite places to go. It's not rare to see people from Arlington or even Loudoun County come into Vienna to enjoy everything that Vienna has to offer. But of course, one of the most important factors to any community is gonna be the cost of living. And according to recent data, the median home sale price in Vienna is around $770,000. This is due to the fact that the majority of real estate is gonna be single family homes. As I mentioned, as more and more of these homes become these big mansions and these brand new builds, that uh, median home sale price is gonna continue to rise. And with the demand to live in Vienna continues to, uh, to rise as it has been, that median home sale price is also gonna shoot up, especially when the median uh, income in Vienna is around $200,000. So there's a lot of people making a lot of money. Vienna also offers top-notch schools with an overall A rating according to niche.com uh, with high schools like James Madison and Marshall High School being some of the best schools that Vienna has to offer you. So again, if you value good education, Vienna is great, but as you probably saw, many of these suburbs are gonna take care of your child's academia. As I mentioned, FCPS is amongst one of the best public school systems in the country. But all in all, with its ideal location, as we mentioned, strong economy, great schools, tight-knit community, a lot of things to do as well, a lot of history. There's a reason why so many people love Vienna and they choose to live in Vienna. But all in all, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Out of these suburbs, which one would you choose and why? Let me know down below in the comments section. I'm definitely curious to know. But if you are thinking about moving to any of these suburbs or anywhere else in Northern Virginia, or you have any specific questions that pertain to you specifically, feel free to reach out. All the info is going to be down below in the description. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move. But until next time, as always, we hope to show you around town or we'll see you on the next video.